This video is sponsored by Venom Horse, because who doesn't want to watch Tom Hardy ride around on a symbiote controlling a horse? That's amazing. The Bike Riders was directed by Jeff Nichols and released in theaters this weekend. The film has an all-star cast including Austin Butler, Jodie Comer, Michael Shannon, Tom Hardy, and of course our boy Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead. Had to mention him. It also has Mike Feist and uh, just some really, really great talent on display here in this movie. And uh, if you haven't seen The Bike Riders, this review will contain spoilers. We're going to do a short, non-spoilery section where I give my non-spoilery thoughts, and then we're going to get into the juicy bits of the film, which is going to be a large quantity of this review. A lot of it's going to be spoilers. So, uh, click off before that moment, because that's when we're going to get into spoilers. Let's get into it here. Alright, so I was very excited for The Bike Riders. Uh, I've, I've never seen any of Jeff Nichols' other uh, films, but just from the cast alone... The trailers were selling me, the premise of it was selling me with this biker gang, uh, and this movie kind of documents their history. It documents how, you know, it first started, and how it, you know, more people join up, they form this bond, this brotherhood, and how other people are coming in to threaten it. There's some new blood, some younger generation uh, bikers that want to join, and when they are denied, they start trouble. Uh, and then, of course, when new members are joining, they start trouble with the old members. They're starting to get in between um, our two characters, Benny and Kathy, played by Austin Butler and Jodie Comer. And we study their relationship as well as Tom Hardy, uh, Tom Hardy's character, Johnny. We study his relationship, his bond with Benny. So this movie, I'll be honest, guys, I was super excited for this, but I think I overhyped just a little bit because... This movie is great, right? But it wasn't reaching the heights that I thought the trailers were setting it up for. So that's my fault, for, totally, for, for overhyping it, thinking it was going to be a masterpiece, a 10 out of 10, or first 10 out of 10, first 10 out of 10 for this year. Uh, but look, it's still really good, okay? You have great performances from Austin Butler, Tom Hardy, Jodie Comer. Those three right there are kind of the standout performances in this movie. You have some scene stealing here and there from Michael Shannon's character, uh, and uh, of course Norman Reedus' character. Um, f Funny Sonny is what they call him in this movie. Uh, and there's just a lot of great tension carried on throughout the movie between this rival gang that's up and coming, this uh, guy that they just call the kid, he's this younger guy, he's like like 20-something, and he's wanting to join the Vandals, and uh, Johnny's just not having any of it. So there's some conflict there, and also conflict between Benny and Kathy, because she gets more and more worried with uh, as things go wrong and get things get out of hand, and the, the gang starts changing into more of like, you know, less of a let's ride our bikes and enjoy it than, you know, let's commit a crime. Uh, it starts to turn into more than that, and she doesn't like it. So she asks Benny to stop riding. She tells Johnny that you can't have Benny. He's mine. And uh, that, that stirs up trouble right there. So ultimately what you have is a movie that has great acting, great directing. The cinematography is really great. It carries a nice tension throughout. The pacing in it isn't as good as I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be like thrilling, fast-paced and everything. It's not really fast-paced. They do take a lot of moments to slow it on down, which is fine. That's needed for some moments, but this movie kind of dragged on a little bit longer than I felt like it was going to. So that's just a minor complaint, and also things do feel a bit conventional with the storytelling, where you can kind of see where things are going to happen. You can see what direction they're going to take the Johnny character, you can kind of see wh how it would end uh, with with Benny and, and Kathy, but overall, guys, it's still a good time. I think it's going to be, uh, I think I'm going to like it better with more rewatches. That's that's how it happened for uh, The Fall Guy and, and Oppenheimer, Killers of the Flower Moon, The Holdovers, movies like that. Go out and see it, guys. I'm giving The Bike Riders a 7 out of 10. Definitely go check it out if you haven't. Um, already, because it's still a very thrilling movie. It just kind of hits some speed bumps here and there. You, you see what I did there? The motorcycles, because they're driving, you, you hit a speed bump. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to get into spoilers, guys, so I'll see you there. Thanks for watching the non-spoilers section. Let's get into the spoilery goodness. Okay, so entering the spoilers here, we have uh, a pretty good idea 
of what's going to happen with Johnny because Johnny keeps stirring up well not really stirring up trouble but he keeps denying the kid entry into the Vandals Club he tells him to get on out of here and he's like look if you want in you gotta leave your friends and it's a, it's a test and he's like alright and he's like no no what, what kind of an asshole are you you're gonna leave your friends to join us get out of here don't show your face here again and the kid challenges him to a uh, a, a face-off, basically. A rumble, if we're talking West Side Story terms here. Uh, <laughs> where you get uh, Johnny showing up to this parking lot. The kid is there with his gang. The kid immediately pulls out a gun and shoots Johnny dead. And that was... That, that shook me. That was really shock. I, I was not expecting that to happen. I knew Johnny was not, not going to win this fight. Because they're kind of building it up. He's leaving the house. His wife's like, oh, pick up eggs on your way home. And he's like, where are the kids? Oh, they're out with friends. I was like, shit. He's not getting back. He's not coming back to this house. And uh, it really hits Benny. At this point in the film, Benny has denied, uh, you know, he gets offered leadership by by um, Johnny. He's like, look, I can't do this anymore. These new guys are coming in. They're disobedient. They're not going to want to listen to me. They'll listen to you. But Benny's not having it. He's like, no, I'm not going to leave this club. That's not who I am. I can't be doing this, all of this uh, stuff that we're doing now with, um, you know, burning a bar down. And one of the vandals wants to turn in their colors. And Johnny shoots him in the leg and tells him to get on out of there. And it's just stuff that throws Benny off where he's like, I just can't do this anymore. You know, it's unhealthy for my relationship with my girl as well. So it, it still does hit Benny, though, because he denied leadership and and that hurts him but it's also kind of what what hits him to be like i need to go back and make things right with kathy because he leaves he goes off with these other guys but he comes back at the end and uh, we get a resolution where uh mike feist's character that's been documenting this he asks jody comer what happened to benny and you know they're just like we're good we're living here uh in uh in florida and they're you know they got steady jobs now they're not living like vandals anymore so uh, it's a bittersweet ending because, of course, Benny had a lot of love for Johnny, but it's a good ending because we got the happy resolution between Benny and Kathy. Overall, yeah, Bike Riders has good performances, good direction, a little bit of pacing issues, a little bit of conventional storytelling, but ultimately it's a movie that I think I am going to grow to really like even more. So, uh, so yeah, seriously, guys, go out and watch The Bike Rider. Sorry this was a bit of a shorter review. I'm trying to kind of cut back on those lengthier ones, but hope you enjoyed nonetheless. Subscribe for more movie reviews. Take care, guys. Keep on riding. Goodbye.